Hello YouTube! Welcome back! This is George. I want to talk about albino bushino placo today. The one you just saw, that big male. So how I breed them? I breed mine very successfully in this 120 gallon, which you don't need. 20 gallon would do. Some would say 15 is enough. But you know, I like them in the community tank. I have a bunch of females and one male. And this is his rock naturally. He dug the bottom, made a little crevice, and he traps the female inside. After she's done laying the eggs, he gets she she leaves and starts eating all over. And sorry for the noises guys in the background. And then what happened is that he fans them for a few weeks, two, three weeks maybe. I'm not exactly sure. When I see him out of the cage, out of the cave, which he's right now. Last night I saw him out, I was waiting. I knew he was holding a bunch of fry. And what I did is, I started getting my net a nice big net and grab the rock put the net in it that's a big rock by the way barely fits that net and got most of the baby the rest of them I siphon with the water hose and I put them in a different tank which I'm going to show you in a second right here I have a lot of uh, bushy nose And I put some wood in there so they can glaze on it. And you can see them, they're very, very tiny. If you don't take them out, they will go free swimming and the angels will peck at them. And if you do take them out, like that one's a bigger one right there. Uh, if you do take them out, you'll have hundreds of them. They're everywhere, by the way. So what I do then, I pick up one by one after them, you know, a few weeks later eating in that one tank. I feed them green beans and the algae, they graze in the wood. I take a few and put it all over my tanks that has algae in it. And you see one underneath that filter. You know, raise them and offer them to the LFS, take them to the club. But most of the people bring in this fish. It's easy to breed, very easy to breed. They just breed themselves. As long as you have a healthy fish, they breed themselves. Now, these are the gladiator betas. They do leave that black hole alone. They don't mess with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please show me some love and subscribe and give me some thumbs up. Later.